Victoria Leo was supposed to be spending her Friday preparing her favorite Peruvian dishes for the lunch and dinner rush. We started this, Jose Ricardo, on top of a lot of hard work and sacrifice. We started this business. Instead, she, her family, and small staff set up a canopy as they waited outside in the heat for answers. That fire Thursday night forced her restaurant, Vicky's Peruvian, to close. I called all the co-workers and we evacuated and told everyone to get out because it was not safe. Workers left IDs, passports, wallets, purses, cell phones. They were all left behind. You can see the extensive damage the fire caused to the strip mall. West Valley City Fire Chief John Evans tells me four businesses are a total loss, including Vicky's. There's four businesses uh, with uh, the roof collapsed in, uh, one business next to him, there's uh, heavy water damage. This is my everyday job, and now myself, my family, and my employees will be without a job, and we don't know when they will return, and we are so sad about the situation. Crews battled the blaze and the heat for hours Thursday night into Friday morning. Chief Evans says one firefighter hurt his shoulder, but has since been released from the hospital. It was hot. Uh, you know, that's why we had as many uh, apparatus and people here. You know, you got to rotate them out. Investigators are still trying to figure out what started the fire as they wait to get into the roof. They estimate the damage will run somewhere between $1.5 and $2 million. For Victoria, she's holding back tears, thinking about the years of hard work and memories now burned. We will continue to fight every day for our business. In West Valley, Darian DeBrule, Fox 13 News, Utah.